Welcome to part three, which is evaluating the health system in Australia, focusing on quality. Like equity, the quality of patient care in hospitals is also an important measure of the healthcare system. So it's interesting to note that one in six or 16% of Victorian hospital admissions in the year 2006-2007 had experienced an adverse event as a result of their admission. Perhaps the ultimate marker of quality of care is mortality rates in hospitals. Therefore, measures of quality include things like adverse events following an admission, and we're talking about things like infections, death, surgical complications, and so on, and two, continuity of care. Measures of quality can therefore be broken down into two distinct elements, the technical quality of care or the ability to cure, and patient satisfaction or experience, the care quality. Adverse events and continuity of care could fit into these subsets respectively. Here is your task for part three. The section in Duckett and Wilcox entitled Safety and Quality of Hospital Care, which starts on page 211, will help you to answer these questions. One, consider the patient frustration arising from the lack of continued care by one allied health practitioner. Two, have you been able to witness this from your clinical placements thus far? Explain. And three, can you share an experience where the lack of continued care has made you frustrated with the health service provided? Explain the event and your feelings about it. What did you learn from this personal experience? If you can't think of anything for your own self, perhaps you can um, reflect on this with the experiences of a family member. I suggest you read the text first and then attempt your answers to this task. So we have now considered equity and quality. The next video will explore the theme of efficiency when evaluating the health system in Australia.